I have seen a lot of new seller who start to sell on eBay. They have their account block like after one month or two months and then they come back to me and they say, we haven't done anything wrong. We don't know what's happened. So in this video, I want to explain you some steps that you should know before you actually sign up as a seller for eBay. And even if you are a new seller, this video will be very, very helpful. So let's get started. My name is Zen Shah. On this channel, we talk about how to make money online from e-commerce and social media. So if you are a first time here, consider subscribing and hit that like button below as well. So first thing that you need to keep in mind, when, when you sign up for the eBay account, you have to make sure your Wi-Fi or your computer, both of them are not blacklisted. What I mean by that, if somebody had account on that computer before, they used that computer to operate that eBay account, or they was using the same internet connection, even though you come up with the different details, like for example, first time the account which is blocked, the name was Zancha, and this time the name is different, even the eBay system will know the IP address, they will know the computer, they will block your account again. So first thing, keep in mind, you don't have your account blacklisted as well. So make sure you don't have your computer or Wi-Fi blacklisted as well. The second thing which is very, very important, and you have to keep this in mind that once you open a brand new account, you have to be in the good books of eBay as well. So if, if you are a brand new, I know you just wanna sell something, you wanna make money out of it, but eBay is a long-term game. You have to have your account in the good books. So for the first month, what I highly recommend you only, only focus on getting the feedback. So what you can do, you can actually buy the stuff from eBay in order for you to actually get some feedback from other sellers. The total percentage on your account will show even if it is from a buyer or it is from a seller. So as long as you have a some feedback, you will are you are sort of traveling to the good books in the eBay as well. So in that case, what you can do, you can start listing the things that you no longer need from your house. You are not necessarily doing all that for the profit. You wanna get some feedback. So then you can actually list the product that you want to list. If straight away, you're gonna start listing those items and most of the people, because I always say don't panic, grow organic. So they start selling the item which are not original Nike or not original Adidas. So what's happened is obviously eBay gonna block your account. And the other thing you have to really, really keep in mind, like please, once you are building that feedback, make sure you are selling a physical product. If you wanna do the drop shipping later on, in this stage, do not start drop shipping. Because once the eBay will ask you the invoices or tracking number, and they do ask this when your account is brand new, then of course you're not gonna have your invoices from a supplier because you're just simply drop shipping. So in this stage, I say, buy at least one or two cheap things once in a week so you can have some feedback as a buyer and also try listing your product. You will be absolutely shocked how much things you have inside your drawers or the clothes that you no longer use inside your wardrobe, you will be able to make some money out of it and you're not using those things as well. So this way you have to be in the eBay good books before you actually list something where you have invested some money inside there and the third problem once you are in the new to the ebay process there are a lot of things that you need to learn you need to learn how to deal with item not receive case in particular you need to know how to actually properly respond to them and then you need to know how to deal with the return and what are the return that you can decline and what are the return you have to accept as well and how to deal with the return process as well these two things are very important and then other thing you really need to know your postage cost before you actually list anything on ebay you need to know how much it's going to actually cost you to post that one as well so sometimes what's happened we don't have any idea about those things and we think okay this is the thing which will go in a large letter it end up going in a small parcel we cancel the order and then there is no way we're going to be shipping those product because if we ship them we not going to be making any profit so we cancel those orders and then we get the strike from ebay and overpassing the time what's happened is then ebay will actually realize you don't know what you're doing and they're going to block your account 
we don't own anything to the eBay. They are a private institution. They can allow you to sell on their platform or they can block you to do on their platform. And when I talk like this to other people and they say, well, then I'm better off opening my own website and I'm better off doing my own things. So once I talk to the people about eBay, they say, well, they are so harsh on the seller and they always gonna favor their buyer and that's not the platform for me. I'm not gonna be selling on this one. The thing is they have a leverage, they have a customers. All the platform are like this. Amazon is like this as well. If you really have to do, then design your own website. But once you design your own website, how are you supposed to bring the customers on your own website? So once you are a beginner, we do have to put up with those things as well. This is the way, unfortunately, this is the way it is. So work, start properly, don't panic, go organic and subscribe to this channel. And then there are the other videos all the things that I talk about, how to deal with the return item not received case, which posted to apply everything, they must be popping up on the screen. And then there will be a lot of videos inside the video description as well. Make sure you check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Watch next video now.